Good evening, everybody. Hello. We have old school Sarah with us today. Why? She got her red lipstick on. That's a Sarah classic move right there. It's just some nice pure red, red lipstick. But we're at the park that I feel like we 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 outdid ourselves last time. I feel like last time we were here, we went on one ride five times, too many in a row. So we're back finally. We have yet to see it after Sarah's been here in a long time. Because I was here for the filming. Yeah, that was probably last time I was here. This I was here for problem. the filming. You were here the last time for the five times, yeah. right? Yeah. We love Animal Kingdom during the day. Uh -huh. I mean, we love it at night too, but like we really love it during the day. So it's hard to come here when it's already dark during the week. Look at all these guys underneath. The security here doesn't like Christmas. Why? They made me go through the um Oh I did not realize that. They made me go through the mouth sucker and I dropped my candy can now it's broken at the spot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> little Reese's. It's so dark. But look at the little entrance. Peter said that it was too early for these to be up when he was here for the filming. This is not my day. First my candy cane breaks. And now they don't want to let us in. Remember last night when I was like, Peter's banned from Disney forever. Our now we're both. Working. But, so our passes are giving a blue sign and they can't tell us what it is. So they tell us congratulations. We think we realized that when my debit card was compromised a couple, like two weeks ago, and I got a new one that it may have been linked. To that. To that debit card. We're in. I want to go on Cal River Rabbits. There was a fast pass for it tonight, but... No, it still is there, but you don't want to go. <laughs> so, we're crooks and we didn't pay our bill. Very clever that they just stop off here. But the weird thing about it was, Disney, you didn't tell us. Like, I forgot that the debit card that went expired, or that got compromised, was it linked up to our annual passes. We just pulled, because you're, you're a Florida resident, you can pay it monthly. So that was kind of weird, but they were quick. But we lost, a, we may have lost the fast pass. But we're gonna we're try, gonna try and we're speed, gonna try over to speed over there. Speed over there. Get it. Not okay. He's literally he's about to he's about to grab Mickey's head. Spooky. Bunch of spooky Never toys. Else Hi. Oh. Hi. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. We said if we get any free stuff, it doesn't apply to our diet. Because like, how are we gonna turn away? So we got some so chocolate covered apples. At least it's healthy-ish. Let's go to the safari and maybe a lion will roar for us. Yeah. Where do we go? Um. We're row number nine. It's nice. We've never done that before. You never. Feet and legs inside, and remember to watch it. Now, because it is darker, it is a lot harder to actually be able to physically see them. But if we do keep our voices down and keep our ears open, we might be able to actually hear them communicating with one another. Many people believe that their horns have a medicinal value, but they actually don't. They're made of keratin. The exact same composite found in our hair and fingernails. Through thick underbush, making them rarely seen by humans. Now, pride usually consists of a male, such as that one right there on the left, and his plethora of females called lionesses. He's kind of like the stay-at-home dad in the relationship. But don't miss this daddy. His roar can be heard up to five miles away. And lions have extra padded paws, meaning he can come up behind you almost completely silent, and you wouldn't even know it. I have to say, that was like the most relaxed, the most relaxed safari Wait, I think we've are you ever been on. about the people on board? Or because I was being bounced around. Well, like the people, the animals, so I was getting relaxing, bounced around. I was like, we were the only two people in our seat and we were in the back. The, the last row. But it was like cool, it was like real slow and relaxing. And 
the animals were just like trotting around. They were more hectic than I thought. Yeah, that was like probably your best night at the park. Ever. Uh oh, we got one more slide. You ready to dance? We're gonna try to get on dinosaur before we go. Wish us luck. We're, we're in. in. Literally, the clock said 7:59. They were all the customers were joking that they were gonna close the door on us and not let us in. We may be the only people on this ride. How scary is that gonna be? Super. Um, we might be the only people on this ride. Can we go. I think we just go. Okay, so we weren't we weren't sure because we're all like, people like, are the last people here. Great, there's like a minute left of the park being open. <laughs> we got yelled at. What? Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. Oh, and one more thing. Those logs of coordinates. We're in. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? There's nobody down here. We're the last ride, I think. The very last ride. Sarah. We're sitting on far sides from each other. We're sitting far away from each other. Time travel commencing ah. in T minus 10 seconds. Wow, Dinoland's got their Christmas spirit on. Look at this big old snowman. And these Christmas trees. And we got some Christmas music going on. And this, these trees over here. How great. And that tree. And this little dancing Christmas star right here. There's a what? Where? Now, I don't think these lights are up year round, but we've got some dinosaur lights up there. Triceratops, Bronchiosaurus, Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus Rex, got real lucky, the only four dinosaurs, <laughs> the only four dinosaurs that I know were up there. <laughs> we don't believe we told you what we're doing now, but you can't tell. We're back at Disney Springs. Why do you ask? Peter, Sarah, it's late. You had work. You went on Expedition Everest. You know how that makes your stomach feel. But we also have Movie Pass. And we really want to go through that Lady Bird movie. So we got a show in 30 minutes, just enough time to go to the washroom. And we heard that there's gingerbread in Village. Gingerbread Village at Amaretta. A gingerbread village. So we're gonna go check that out. And then go watch this movie. And it's not even a, usually we do like a 10 30 or 11 o'clock show and get home at like 1. Tonight we're doing a 9 15, so we'll be home by 11 11 30. Oh, we haven't even talked about it. Midnight is like Oh, yeah. So by the time you watch this, the buttons will already be up for advertisements, so go check them out. Alright, here we are at Amaretti's. 
here to check out this little gingerbread village they have. Look at this cute tree. Oh, look at that. They got a house of blues. The ganache tree. That looks fancy. Oh, they got the water tower, the actual spring, the Lego, the dragon. Yeah. Characters in flight. Look at that. And the big old tree at the end. That's awesome. I love that there's actual water in there. And I did not know they did crepes here. So how ridiculous are we? I looked at my Starbucks app and I noticed that I needed one star, which is literally you spend a dollar and you get two stars. I needed one star to get a free drink, any drink, and 22 of my stars expired tomorrow. So we literally bought this $1.50 blueberry to get a big old free drink. So enjoy during the movie, and the movie credits started now. And Not the credits, the trailers. The trailer started now. So I'm excited. I got our puppy too, uh, too riled up and she bit my finger. Oh no. It's my own fault. I got, I, Look at my crazy hair. I got her all riled up. Um, go right now to Playing Crazy Button Club Instagram. You can see the, um, the artwork reveal. It's called Walt's Favorite Things. There's a carousel progress, feed the birds, and railroad, sorry, buttons. Okay. Let us know down below in the comments if you know why any of those are Walt's favorites. Yes. Um, so yeah, go check that out. And but it's after order midnight. a subscription if you want. And subscribe to our YouTube. Yeah. But it's after midnight, so that means it's our nine year anniversary. We've been, yes. We've been doing our nine years. Nine years. Peter asked me out while we were doing a grammar packet. That's how long ago we'll, it was. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Yeah. But with that, it's, it's good, good to, to be, be home. home. Ooh, go see... Ladybird. Ladybird, it's super so good. good. Very like just coming of age, teenage it, like, girl, felt like angsty. <laughs> felt like our college or high school. Life. But it like was not like over dramatized. It was like it was moderately legit. well done, like yeah. a real life experience. It's set in two thousand two, which is like a really yeah. fun. Cool like angle. it's like a weird year. It's really good. Yeah, go see it. Good to be home. Good evening. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.